Hey everybody! Today I have Walmart and Aldi and more food storage stuff again. So first, I bought two things of toilet paper. Um, one is because we needed it. The other one I'm putting away. And no, I'm not like being crazy hoarding it. It's just last time when things started getting bad again, I had a really hard time finding toilet paper. And now um, I was watching the news the other day and they said something about like monkey box or something. And I'm like, if that's the next COVID... I'm going to make sure I have a little bit of extra toilet paper because I can't go through that again. <laughs> so I got two of those. Some Coca-Cola for Chris. The girls asked for cheese crackers at my mom's house and they were fighting over what they were going to get, white or orange. So I just got both. Chris needed razors. This copy paper was $9. That's ridiculous. I don't know. That's the only kind they had. I don't know what other kind they usually have, but I need it for the kids' school. Even though there's only a couple weeks left. They still print stuff every day. So, I got these for the dog. The whimsy ones I had bought last time, they don't sell those anymore. And I don't think these have any, yeah, no rawhide. So, I got her these. We'll see if she likes them. They're expensive, though. They're like $9. And I'm like, damn, this dog, so spoiled, so expensive. Bought pumpkins. And if, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it before, I had a crisis one year when I planted pumpkins. And bugs kept getting in them, and I was losing my mind. We weren't able to, eat, like, eat the ones I grew for eating. So I like had a, a fit, but I'm just going to grow them for decorative purposes this year because I didn't grow any last year and the kids and me were sad because we love to carve our own little pumpkins, even though they don't get as big as the ones in the store, but I'm just going to do a lazy approach with these. There are some woods behind my house. I'm going to throw these back there and see what happens. I'm not going to tender love and care of them because a lot of people that my husband talks to because he works in the service industry, so he sees a lot of people, um, said that, you know... They just throw them in the ground and they grow. They don't do anything to them. And I drove myself nuts that year. So I'm going to try that see if it works out. If not, no great loss to me. Um, cat litter liners. I didn't need more, but I saw them because I had to go in for a couple things. So I figured I might as well. Dill weed. I have never seen this dried. And everyone else might be like, yes, it is. And you're just, <laughs> you're a little dumb. But I'm not. I've never seen this in the store. And I was surprised to see it dried. I was like, Wow. So about that, because that's much cheaper than the stupid fresh one that I use all of. I need garlic powder. Nobody has it. Walmart finally did, so I got that. Two things of spaghetti. I'm going to make uh, chicken scampi during the week. A coleslaw for me and Chris one night. We're going to have this barbecue pork stuff with it, which that's gotten expensive too. Me and Chris used to get that. used to be like 4 or $5. It's now like 7 Uh Kid cuisine for Gabriel because he hates pork chops, and I did buy those for the week macaroni and cheese i bought six of the regular and four of the triple uh, three cheese because um for food storage like i said just being on the airing on the side of caution starting to stock up a little bit again before there's nothing left and even if you know it never comes to that what i hope it doesn't it's not like my family won't eat it uh cheese sticks carrots for the kids are on a carrot kick which is fine with me Chicken nuggets for Gabriel. It's been a long time. He's been eating other stuff. He asked me yesterday for chicken nuggets. I was like, yeah, sure. Uh, green beans. My mom had bought the kids a big pack of Klondike bars last week. And I was like, man, we used to buy Klondike bars. I forgot all about them. So I was like, I got two packs of those. A crunch one and a regular for the kids. Um, loaded pierogies. Lily asked me to get more of those. She really likes those for lunch. A bag of french fries. Two of these Red Bulls for Chris. And I don't know what I did. I saw they had pretzel on them, and that's my preference. So I bought those for the dish. But I had first clicked on these, and I guess I didn't unclick it when I did my grocery order. So whatever. Now we have two M&Ms. Um, these are for the other dish because Chris and the kids eat that. They really don't eat this stuff. That's a mom treat. Um, strawberry toaster, Pop-Tart, pastry things, ramen, four things of carrots. Like I said, two are for dinner. The other will go in food storage. Grape tomatoes. And last week, I got to be careful with putting this stuff away, guys. I literally left a whole thing of cream sitting on the counter because I don't put everything away before I bring my mom her stuff because I grabbed both of our grocery orders. So I put all my cold stuff away, but I completely forgot. I thought it was something else, and it had to go straight in the trash when I got home. It's so hot here now, and even though I keep the air out of my house, it, it was hot when I came back, and I had to throw it away. One of these I got for Lottie because um, she has... One at my mom's, and she really likes it, so I got her for one for here. Lily needed glue. More wet ones, because you can never have too many. Um, pure Sport for Gabriel. He asked me for deodorant. I don't think he really needs it. He's kind of young, but if he wants it, I don't care. Uh, detangler. Autumn's hair is terrible, so we get that. I didn't get my Chauncey one, because it's expensive in Walmart, and I haven't had the time to go out to TJ Maxx, because it's like 
half an hour, 45 minutes from my house, so I just got the cheap one from Walmart. Some salami. I have a big pack of it still, so I just got a little bit extra for Chris. Bacon potatoes, a bottle of Coca-Cola for the kids, some breadcrumbs, and some goldfish. And then I got some uh, pepper plants for my garden. I'm finishing up. This is it. It's not going to be huge this year. But I had such a hard time finding plants today. Nobody... Like, I don't know if it's because it's getting later in the year, but I grew everything too early last year and a lot of plants didn't make it because it was too cold and they got like stunted. So I really waited this year. And I already have some out there I'll show you guys in another video, but like, I don't know. There wasn't much to choose from. I was kind of disappointed. I like yellow bell pepper and orange. They only had red, so I got the red. And I got a purple one. And that tastes like a green pepper, so it's not really sweet. It says it's sweet, but... It's really not. Um, but yeah, so, and this one already had little peppers on it, so it's like, win for me. I might as well get that one. Um, also, we only have the one bed. We're growing all the peppers and tomatoes in this year. And I looked online, and it says you can grow spices in between herbs and stuff. And I'm like, that's great, because then I'm hoping it will keep the aphids and stuff. We excited a terrible time last year. And when the winter comes, I'm going to try to dry all this and save me a little money. I mean, I know herbs are like really cheap, the dried ones, but if I have it, I might as well be self-sufficient and use it. So I got some English thyme because that's all they had. They also only had Greek oregano. I was looking for like the Italian one, but I looked online and it's probably going to be fine. <laughs> I really don't care. A Big Bertha bell pepper. That's a green one. And then I also got, um, yeah, jalapeno. So that'll be good. And I plan on canning the jalapeno. I got a, a sweet banana pepper down there too. And then two things of basil. Cause I love basil. I love the way it smells. And we use a lot of it. So I figure I will, you know, I hope it flourishes in the garden and I have a bunch. So I spent, <laughs> I went to Walmart a couple times. Because I didn't have all the plants at regular Walmart. A lot of them were dead. So I had to go to the neighborhood market on my way home. So I believe it was 170 It's expensive this week. Be prepared. 170 for Walmart grocery order. Then I spent 60 in the store and then 16 on the rest of the plants. So it was a little expensive. I'll add a little total at the end and then of everything I spent today so you guys can feel sad with me that we have no money now. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Everything's so expensive. At Aldi's I spent $82. Yeah. Doesn't look like $82, but whatever. They finally had the artichoke and cheese strudel, and I was super excited, and I got two of them because they're only $3.99, but I was not going to get more than that because I'm like, <laughs> that's a little pushing it. And I mean, they're not that many calories for only half of it, but still, you, uh, I don't need that many. <laughs> I really don't. Um, butter, and we stopped buying butter. We started buying uh, margarine. The only reason I bought this is it's for a recipe. I'm making uh, chicken scampi and they say butter in there and I figured it probably tastes better than margarine so that's for that some iced tea I bought the assorted cut of pork chops because the other ones are just they're too much it's too expensive I can't I can't do it so we're just getting those now and I mean they look similar it's fine I don't care uh little steaks two bags of frozen mixed vegetables two bags of frozen corn a package of chicken a baby bella mushroom they're only like Maybe 30, 40 cents more than the other ones. So I was like, yeah, it's not a big deal. I like them. So we got those for when we have steak. Pita chips, two bags, because Chris likes them. And if I buy one, he's going to eat all of them, and I'm not going to get any. So hopefully that will deter him from eating my bag. Uh, this for food storage. This is for food storage. This is for food storage, because I hate instant mashed potatoes, but I'll eat them if I have to. Uh, rice squares and honey wheat cereal for the kids. Two for ca two carrots for food storage, two fruit cocktail, two whole potatoes, garbanzo beans, and corned beef hash. That's all for food storage. Um, olive oil spray I needed, bagels. I got cinnamon raisin and everything. A loaf of bread and red potatoes. I also got, and I highly recommend if they are available to you. They had them like constantly at my store, and then they stopped. So I don't know if it's a limited thing, but these are delicious. They taste like the Bueno bars, but better. And then these taste like when um, Oreo did the Milka Oreo bars. Those are so good. So I haven't seen those things, but these are pretty cheap. They're $2. And I mean, you're going to pay a lot more for name brand stuff. But I thought, that's super good. And I got some of those. And um, yeah, hopefully everything goes well. 
with uh, the planting and everything this year. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm hoping to get a vlog out to you soon. Like I said, it's been, the dog is a pain in my butt. I love her so much, but she's a lot of work and takes a lot of my time. So it's like having a new baby and I don't get a whole lot of time to video, but I'm going to try. <laughs> so I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.